Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I talk about and go through some of the projects that I work on. I do a lot of buying and selling on multiple different things. Four wheelers, motorcycles, chainsaws, really whatever has a motor and needs fixing. I like to play around with it, get it fixed and probably end up selling it for some money. As you see right here, this is my 2007 Ford F-150 that I recently purchased. It's a crew cab, four wheel drive, 5.4 liter. It has 183,000 miles on it. And this is going to be my next project. So stay tuned and check out what I'm about to do this old clunker and get it fixed up and sell it. When I finally got a hold of this truck, I brought my quick little scanner with me, um, plugged it in, the OBD2 scanner, and scanned the codes for the check engine lights to figure out what, what I was up against, what problems this 5.4 liter had for me. Um, the codes that originally came up were a, I believe it was a P2 something, I don't remember. It was talking about the Bank 102 sensor in the front was out of range um, I won't go into detail of how those O2 sensors work but it was out of its threshold um, so I knew I, I was kind of looking at a OB or changing out an O2 sensor uh, not too bad of a job they're about a hundred dollars and and a good external part you know cross my fingers nothing else having to do with the 5.4 that has multiple common problems Another thing that kind of worried me was a misfire. It was running a little rough. I was hoping that was from the O2 sensor, um, but it also had a misfire on cylinder one, a P0301. Um, that misfire I was hoping was related with the O2 sensor, or maybe it was causing the O2 sensor to be out of range, not able to work correctly. Maybe it fouled it up. Um, so my easiest bet was to Take a look at the spark plug. Spark plugs are a big problem with these 5.4s. They like to get stuck inside the heads. Um, luckily, this one seems to have been replaced before um, with 183,000 miles. It's probably due, so I ordered spark plugs for them to do all eight. And then, luckily, this one came out pretty pretty easy. It, it didn't stick. It wasn't broken. It just came right out. Um, threads looked good on it. I cleaned it up swapped coils back to a different uh, cylinder trying to isolate was it the coil or is it the spark plug what could be the problem put grease anti-seize and dielectric grease back on it and assembled it back in the truck reset my codes no other codes for a misfire um, at that time i also did a a motorcraft o2 sensor from the parts local parts store um, but other than that the truck starts, idles, and runs great. Four-wheel drive worked good. It snowed here a couple days ago. I was able to try out the four-wheel drive. It worked flawlessly for me, which was nice. And then, then I just worked on cleaning up the interior. I knew this would be a great vehicle for that had lots of potential. So I decided to clean it up and uh, make it look real presentable. So let me get in there and show you how well this stuff actually works. So just taking a look, just running that scrub brush over this arm right here, and just cleaning it. Can you see the, the amount that that cleaned up? That's what I'm going to do this entire door. I just start scrubbing and cleaning.
let's take a look at this. So there's still a little bit more on the armrest here I need to clean up, specifically around here where it looks like um, the smoker's been. But the, the controls have cleaned up, door handle. I'm gonna come in here with an air gun and get in these crevices and get in with a finer brush on my second detail. This is just my first to get everything the rough and nasty off. But look at this this armrest up here where the window is. It's, it's so much cleaner. Ford's really bad about getting um, dirt and dust and getting it to stick in these cracks, but this tough stuff really gets in there and cleans it out without much effort. Um, I'll come back in here with a fine brush and continue cleaning. Let's go ahead and tackle the bottom part of the door. First round of the door panels on. The second look at how it, how it turned out really cleaned up nice. Typical just wear from 180,000 miles on this truck. And I'll come back in with another detail on it. Inside the cup holders and cubby compartments, they cleaned up pretty well. I'll finish up touching in there. But overall, the door panel cleaned up pretty well. Let's go ahead and tackle the rest of the interior. Um, it's really not bad. Just lots of dust, as you can see. Lots of just gravel road dust that I need to wipe down and clean off. Some dirt. The steering wheel is pretty bad shape. Um, somebody put electrical tape on it to cover up a hole or a rip. Um, I'm probably not going to replace the steering wheel. I'm just probably going to put a cover on it and then clean it all up. So let's go ahead and jump into wiping down the dash. and oil residue on it. The light scrub down agitating all that which was there. Get it to loosen up. Can you see that color change of the product? It's no longer white anymore. It's taking all the hand oils and grease off. It's working very well. that cleaned off, wipe it down, and how does it look? There we go, good as new. The overdrive shift, I need to wipe that down a little bit more. Let's get that off. 
Cool. That's it. Nice and clean. camera to focus a little bit that would be nice but overall let's take a look at the dash still need to do that compartment tray that rubber piece comes out but there's no more dust and dirt on the dash If you liked the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below um, see more content help me boost my channel on more vehicles that I purchase at auction clean them up fix them and post videos on my channel if you have any questions let me know I'd love to hear from you thanks for watching take care bye